What is going on, guys? Sony has recently released a new firmware for the A6000. I'm going to talk about those new features and show you how to upgrade that firmware coming up right after this. What is up, guys? My name is Nelson. Here on this channel, I do photography and tech-based tips and tricks and tutorials, and I'm going to be having a lot of awesome content coming up in the future. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So two weeks ago, Sony released version 3.21 for the A6000. Now, the only listed feature is the improvement in the autofocus performance, but a lot of users have been reporting faster startup times. So I'm going to do a before and after to see if the startup time has improved, and I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade that firmware right now. All right, the first thing we're going to have to do is set the camera's USB mode to mass storage. To do that, go ahead and hit Menu. Go all the way over to the last tab across the top and hit down one and scroll to page four. And on USB connection, go ahead and select that and scroll down to mass storage and hit OK. All right, so there's a couple of things that you need to do before you do the firmware upgrade. First and foremost, you're going to want to have a fully charged battery. If you're using a vertical grip, remove the vertical grip and insert the battery directly into the body of the camera. Also, if possible, use the USB cable that came with the camera. Now, I'm doing this tutorial on a Windows PC, so on Windows, you're going to want to make sure to disable any unnecessary running programs in the background. Also, it is imperative that the computer not go to sleep during this process, so turn off the auto sleep feature on Windows. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is fire up your web browser. In a Google search, go ahead and select Sony. A6000 firmware. On top, you'll see support for ILCE A6000. Go ahead and click that. All right, so once you're on this page, go ahead and scroll down. You'll notice right here, ILCE-6000 firmware, version 3.21 for Windows. Go ahead and click this link. And click Download. Scroll to the bottom and accept the user license agreement and click download. All right, so I saved my file into my downloads folder. So navigate to where you saved your file and double click the update ILCE 6000 version 3.21.exe. It's going to run the WinZip self extractor. All right, so on the left side of the camera, there's a little door here. It's labeled HDMI in multi. Go ahead and open this flap. Now you're going to want to stick the USB cable into the top where it says multi. Once the firmware updater program has fully loaded, go ahead and connect the other end of the USB cable directly into your computer. And now you're going to turn the camera on. Now go ahead and click Next. Click Next again to check the version. The current version on the camera is version 3.2. After the update, we're going to be at version 3.21. Go ahead and hit Next again. On the camera's screen, there will be a dialog box that will pop up that says Reset Device. Go ahead and click the center button to select OK. And click the Next button on the computer. Once that is completed, go ahead and click Run. At this point, I want to mention again, it is absolutely imperative that you do not touch the computer or the camera during this process. The process can take several minutes, and it may seem at certain points that it is not operating properly, but I assure you that it is. All right, so the update finished, and the camera automatically rebooted. So you can go ahead and disconnect the USB cable now. All right, so we are running version 3.21 now. One of the things that the community had noted on was the fact that the startup time had improved. Now, I have to admit, my A6000 started up relatively quickly before, but let's give this a try and see how fast it is. I mean, it's pretty instantaneous. I don't know if I noticed that much of a difference, maybe slightly faster, 
As far as the improvement to the autofocus, I won't be able to note on that until I use this out in the field. So I will get back to you guys within a couple of weeks. But until then, you are rocking the new firmware. If you would leave comments below letting me know if you notice any improvements to your startup time, and if you have a chance to go out and use this in the field and you notice any improvement to the autofocus, please uh, comment below. All right, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. Have a great day.